In this module, we're going to take these entries, which we added to this entries table in Superbase and display them in Moneyballs. And we're also going to set up real-time capabilities so that if any of these entries are added, updated, or deleted elsewhere on a different device, then these changes will be instantly reflected in Moneyballs. But to begin with, let's just display these entries in our app when the app first starts. So I'm going to jump to our store file in source stores and store entries.js. So let's scroll down to our actions. And we already have this load entries action, which is triggered when the app first starts, because I think if we jump to the root view component app.view in the root of the source folder, we can see that action being fired here in the unmounted hook. However, if we jump back to this load entries action, this is currently loading entries saved in local storage, but we're not going to be using local storage anymore. We're going to be storing all of our entries in this entries table on Superbase. So I'm going to get rid of all the code in this action. And for now, just log out, get entries from Superbase and save that. And if we take a look at the console and reload this app, then we can see this being logged out here, get entries from Superbase. Uh, let's get rid of all other uses of local storage. So I'll get rid of this save entries action, which is saving the entries to local storage. Don't need that anymore. So we'll get rid of that action and also remove it from the return statement. Uh, and actually we're not exporting that here. Uh, let's scroll up to the top, to the state section. And uh, we currently have this watcher, which is watching our array of entries and firing that save entries action that we just removed anytime this entries array changes. So we're not going to need this watcher anymore. So I'll get rid of that and save that. Uh, let's scroll up to the top and get rid of stuff that we're not using. We're not using watch anymore. So let's remove that. And we're not using the local storage plugin anymore. So let's get rid of that and save that. Uh, let's also jump to Chrome, uh, this arrow icon and application. Uh, local storage. Uh, let's delete this entries key value pair that we were using to store these entries and delete that as well. Help me out with a quick like, comment, share, or subscribe. Uh, let's jump back to store entries and this load entries action. And I think it makes more sense for this to be at the top of our actions here, since this is going to fire first. So I'm going to cut this and paste it to the top of our actions. And I'm also going to jump down to the return statement and move this up as well to the top of here and save that. Okay. So what we need to do next in this load entries action is grab these entries from the entries table in Superbase and add them to this entries array in our state so that we see these entries on the page. Get the full course, including authentication, role level security and policies, database functions and triggers, storage, edge functions, and running Superbase locally from makeappsacademy.com or click the link in the description.